Maria. You okay to talk? Oh, hey, Cora. Good morning. I just finished cleaning up. I got a bit of time. Can I help you with something? I know it's a day off and all, but could you babysit Owen today? Huh? Babysit Owen? You know, I'm a single mom and all. In order to bring up a child, I have to work, you know. And so my boss, he put an emergency shift. Apparently, someone couldn't make it. He just couldn't find anybody else. Asked me personally. Really hard being in demand all the time. Uh, right. Maria, you're a housewife, right? You got time, huh? Sorry. So, I'll bring him over right away. Sorry, not today. I'm busy. Huh? Why not? Well, actually, I found out last month, but I'm pregnant. Oh, wow, really? So maybe a little brother or sister for little Maya. Congratulations. Thanks. So, right now, I'm going through stuff. You know, morning sickness. I really can't be babysitting in this condition. I'm really sorry. Could you ask around for someone else? Okay. I left Owen at the front door. I'll pick him up later. See ya. Huh? Hold it! I just refused! You understand, right? Come on. You'll be fine. I mean, you were just cleaning up a second ago, right? If you could do that. No problem taking care of one little kid. Easy peasy. I was just doing light housework. You know, washing the dishes. Uh, Owen's here at the front door. Yeah, like I said. I can't do this. Please, come back and pick him up. <laughs> Please, Cora, pick up! <laughs> Cora, you left Owen at the front door again. What is this? Oh, hi, Maria. Yeah, I rang the bell, but there was no answer. So I left him standing at the front door. I have to stay overnight, so I'll pick him up tomorrow night. Hope it's not a bother. Overnight? You're not serious. I can't keep him. Come on. He can go to elementary school with Maya. Not a problem, right? Please take care of your kid yourself. I mean, maybe you should consider after-school daycare service or something? No way! That would cost way too much. A waste of money. You have your hands free, right, Maria? We should all help each other and save on expenses. It's costly bringing up a child. I didn't even say I would accept. Besides, I would be able to stay overnight if I put him in a nursery school. Use your head. How could you let another person take care of your kid while you go off overnight somewhere? Is this really that important? Yes, very important. Guess what? I have a boyfriend. Huh? A boyfriend? He was also brought up by his mom, so he really understands what a single mother is going through. If you know what I mean. Now, if someone like that would be Owen's dad... Wouldn't that be wonderful? So I really have to make this work. Well, it would seem a lot better if you took Owen with you on such a trip. The three of you could get to know each other better. The relationship hasn't gone that far yet. But anyway, I cannot babysit Owen for you. Sorry. So, would you please come and pick him up? Come on, help me out here. I really can't. For now, I really want to make this work between us. So, I'd really appreciate a little help here. Can't you hear me? I said no! We're not some nursery school, you know? Okay, so I'll pick him up tomorrow, okay? Please, Cora! <laughs> hey, Maria. Cora here. Could you please take care of Owen from today? Another overnighter. So I'll pick him up tomorrow night. Again? Your morning sickness has gone better, right? So no problem. It's gotten a little better, but it still doesn't mean I can babysit. Owen's a quiet kid. No need to worry about him. Besides, it's been three weeks that I've been having him stay with you. No problem so far, right? Yeah, Owen's a good kid for sure. But these overnight romps are getting numerous recently. If you don't get your act together, your ex-husband's not going to be happy about this. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> I have complete custody of Owen. You couldn't do a darn thing. Forget that for the moment, but get this. I think he's going to propose to me. Is that so? 
Okay then, I'll pick him up as usual around 8 p.m. See you then. Take good care of Owen for me until then. Hey, Maria, are you there? Did you take Owen out to the local McDonald's or something? Hey, answer me. I'm here to pick up Owen. Good evening, Cora. Oh, Maria, finally. Thank you so much. At first, it was all complaints, but, well, you're doing just fine. Really, a lifesaver. Thanks. Um, I didn't babysit him because I wanted to. I mean, did I even have a choice? Oh, is that right? Yeah, and first off, our house is not some daycare center. Even my normal everyday chores are tough. On top of that, I have to take care of a stranger's kid? Please! Well, I suppose. But you know, even not being pregnant, housework can get taxing. Do you know where Owen plays every day? Huh? Of course. At your place, right? <laughs> I can understand how you feel, I suppose. But your morning sickness has simmered a bit, right? And unlike a single mother like myself, your home environment is way better than mine. You got it great. You shouldn't be complaining one bit. <laughs> so, right now, please help me out with my love life. By that I mean take care of Owen for me in the coming months. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Where's Owen? Not sure. Probably with his dad. Huh? Come on, Maria. You know that's not possible. You know I got divorced last year. I think he's helping with his family store up north. He lives hours away. How could Owen go to his dad's place? I think that was only when he was helping out at the main store. Huh? The main store? Yes, apparently his sister runs the main store. And he runs the newly opened one nearby. No, that can't be. He... my ex-husband? He's back living here? Yes, the new shop opened at the mall near the highway. He's staying at a residential hotel nearby until the shop gets off the ground. That mall is like six or seven minutes away from Owen's school. Yeah, that's about right. So, Owen is... Yep, Owen's at your ex-husband's place. Then that means... While he prepares for shop opening, he takes the time to play games with him, checks his homework, and makes meals. They seem to be having a lot of fun together. But according to him, he's still cautious about meeting you. It's really not been too long since you guys split up, so... My husband stops by the hotel on his way back from work, picks up Owen, and then you come and pick him up later in the evening. That's been the basic routine. You're not serious. How long has this been going on? I guess it's going on three weeks now. That's... that's from the very beginning. I did tell you how bad my morning sickness was, right? Well, Owen was the one who got in touch with his dad. He was worried about me. Me? Like I said, he's a good kid. Owen contacted him? Yes. He has this little good luck charm that he always carries around. It's got his dad's phone number in it. Huh? His number? In that lucky charm of his? Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing that Owen was with his dad the whole time. Your ex-husband said he contacted your folks about this whole affair. Huh? He couldn't very well contact you directly, and besides, you blocked him online, so... He evidently asked your folks for permission to pick up and take care of Owen while you were... doing your thing. Your folks apparently gave him permission. I haven't heard a thing about it. What's going on? I really don't know the details. I can't answer that. I can't believe this. What the hell are my folks thinking? It's inconceivable that my child would be put in the care of my ex-husband. Uh, it's not my place to say, but I believe the divorce was not your husband's fault. Am I right? As that was the case, there were no specific rules or restrictions about him meeting Owen. Owen just wouldn't want to go back to the place. After all, I am his mother. That's why I figured I didn't need any custody restrictions or anything like that. Owen obviously wants to stay with me. I was duped. Uh, yes, well... Anyway, I do not appreciate you butting into our affairs. So, where is Owen? As I said, he's probably with his dad. Huh? At this time of the evening? Well, according to your explanation, it's about time your husband brought him home, right? Oh, yes. 
That was until yesterday. Huh? Until yesterday? Yes, I had to go back to my parents' place yesterday. Which means, you're planning to have your baby near your folks' place? Well, yes and no. We bought a house near them. We're going to be living there. What? This is the first I'm hearing this. About us moving? I did line everyone on our school PTA announcement page. Uh, I miss that. If you check your message history, I'm sure it's there. Please check. Oh, yeah. Your husband is available, right? What about my husband? Your husband is the company man, right? Well, I'm sure he won't be able to just move and commute from that far away. Yes, I suppose that would be the case normally. So, that means you guys will live over there and your husband stays behind and works here. That means I can have your husband take care of Owen in the future. Perfect. Okay, that's all set. Uh, my husband resigned from his company. Huh? Resigned? Yes, that's right. He's going to help my folks with the business. Take over someday. So, we'll be one big happy family. What? You're not serious. Everyone is so darn selfish. Right when things are going great with my new boyfriend. I really can't have Owen interrupting this good thing. Owen's your son. How could you say such a thing? Well, it's a fact. It can't be helped. Damn it. I have a trip planned for the next weekend. How are you going to fix this? This is all your fault. Uh, Cora? What? What is it? My husband contacted your ex and... Huh? He apparently wants to talk to you about laws concerning child neglect. Huh? Child neglect? Me? Yes, that seems to be the case. What the hell is he talking about? I asked you directly, Maria, to take care of Owen. How's that neglect? Even after I fused you, you just left him standing at the front door. What? Your ex said he wants to talk about custody of Owen one more time. This time, with a lawyer present. Huh? I believe that your parents have given him permission to proceed. As this is the case, my husband and I no longer want any part of this whole mess. So, please work out the details with your ex-husband. <laughs> Evidently, Owen's father had been working behind the scenes to get custody of his only son. He just asked to convey exactly what he said. Nothing more, nothing less. After, I heard that he was able to get sole custody of Owen. Apparently, Cora's folks paid a one-time compensation for Owen's future education. About Cora's new boyfriend. Well, he found out about the whole affair and, subsequently, broke off the relationship. He was apparently aghast at her despicable behavior and told her she was not fit to be a mother. But Cora's parents weren't finished with her. They demanded that she pay the compensation back and made her work day and night to do so. But she has no idea when she finally pays off the debt to her parents, they plan to banish her for good. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.